How to use ChatGPT for essays. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing a quick look at how you can write amazing essays with ChatGPT. And I'm not just saying that you can, you know, type in write an essay on fashion. This is not the kind of essay we're talking about. We're talking about professional level essays that you can APA formats that you can use in uh, abstract that you can use in your thesis. So we're going to be focusing on that. Now, there is an amazing way that you can do this. What I recommend is that instead of, you know, putting in a basic prompt like this, you want to open up a Google Doc. A Google Doc is going to help you in categorizing and realigning the data that you get from ChatGPT. And you can really make it customized and make it, you know, uh, more tailored towards the essay or the topic that you are writing on. So let's get into uh, getting started. Now, first off, let's take a new topic. For example, let's say I want to write about the Industrial Revolution. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide it a simple prompt of writing a outline. So what this will allow you to do is that this will give you an idea of the basics of what would be included in your essay. First off, we have our introduction, which has the basics. Then you have the causes, the transformation, the economic impacts, the technologies and advancements, development, and the environmental consequences, social and political reform, so on and so forth. So let's just wait. Now, this is what the basic outline is. What you want to do is you want to copy this outline that you get. So you just want to copy it as it is and paste it in Google. In your Google Doc, you can do this on anything. So if the uh, you know design is bothering you, you can do it paste without formatting. So it's just simple and basic text. And I'm just going to separate this a little. Now you have your basic pointers. Now, what you can do is first off, let's say I like the overall section, but I don't like the transformations or, you know, I want the part about the actual causes or the transformation to be more detailed. So what I will do is that I will ask it to make point three more detailed. So make point three more detailed. So we have transformations in society and now it's going to make it a more detailed version. So this is going to add more pointers. Now what I will do is I will copy this new point three that I have, copy this, put it into point three in my Google Doc. I'm just going to paste without formatting and now I have a newer point three. Now a lot of people just write, you know, write an essay now or write an essay on these pointers. No, you don't want to do that. So what you want to do is you want to copy like two points at a time. That so can be the introduction and the causes like this. You can copy that and we're going to paste that. And you're going to decide how many words you want this essay to be. So you can even do this with your entire, you know, your entire uh, outline. It can be a little time consuming that way. It, you know, annoys me. So I don't like to do it directly like this, but you can do it. It really doesn't matter. You want to copy and paste your new outline that you got from ChatGPT that you, you know, customized and added your new pointers. Obviously, I just made it. I only made point three more details. You can choose to make any pointers more details within the outline line and you can add more additions or revisions then what you want to do once you have copied and pasted so you just want to copy this as it is copy it and then we're going to paste it and then you want to write can you write a 50,000 or 5,000 however many words you want you want to write that so can you write a 4,000 word essay using this outline? Now it's going to start using this outline to write the essay. Obviously, 4,000 words is not that long. It's going to keep on writing. If you close the tab, sometimes the writing actually does get slower, but you can easily do that. You can just uh, do on, uh, you know, continue on with the rest of your work and the uh, prompt will be written. If it ever stops writing like so, you guys can see it stopped writing at a certain point. You want to click on continue generating. And if you don't get the continue generating a response then you can write in your prompt section so in your message section you just want to write keep writing and it will continue on writing from wherever it left off if your writing ever stops obviously for essays they can be super long you can write 10,000 words even more so 
for that reason, you do have to put in keep writing because quite a few times ChatGPT is going to stop writing. So that is just one easy way to write professional and amazing essays using ChatGPT. Now, I have another really great trick for you guys. Once you have completed your essay, so let's say this is our essay and I'm just going to copy this and now I would paste it over here like this and then I would remove, you know, this section where I asked it to keep writing like this. So what I would do is I would remove the heading like this and then you can copy the rest of your essay as it is and then you're going to paste it in the prompt section. Then you're going to write. So what I'm going to do now is, as you guys can see, I copied and pasted my entire essay and then you put in this prompt. So it says, can you rephrase and rewrite this article or essay in a tone that is not typical to AI and has more of a conversational tone? And you can also include any metaphor if you want to use similes, metaphors, any other linguistic tools that you might want to use. You might want to, you know, have a rhyming section. You might want to include quotations. Quotations are a great way to make your essay more professional or more academic. You know, essays are really appreciated in academic essays. Quotations are really appreciated in academic essays. So that can be a great way to, you know, make your essay more uh, cater towards the um, purpose that it has. So now you guys can see it's going to rewrite my essay in a tone that is non-typical uh, to AI. So it's not going to feel like it was something that I generated right out of ChatGPT. It's going to feel more conversational. You can choose any kind of tone. You can ask it to write in a more specific tone, you know, in a more professional tone, in a more serious tone, in a more sober tone. It is totally up to you. It just depends on the topic and where you're supposed to submit your essays for what you're, you know, writing your essay for. So that is how you can use ChatGPT for essays and really elevate your writing. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else, make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to um, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.